What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about one of my most anticipated fights at UFC 303, Ian Machado Gary versus Michael Venom Page. Now this fight gets me excited for a lot of reasons. I mean it's two really high level strikers so that's always great to see and honestly I just love watching MVP fight. I think he's awesome and although a lot of people do hate Ian Gary and hate a lot of the things outside of the fighting world, inside the ring or the cage you can't lie this guy is an absolute animal i mean he is very very good so i think on paper these two could match up really nicely with each other you have two lengthy kickboxers that are gonna be throwing everything at each other or i hope so and i think it could make for the best fight of the night easily but on the flip side, I also think this could be pretty boring. When Ian Gary runs into high-level strikers, he tends to be a lot more cautious. And against a guy like MVP, you have to be super cautious. And as for MVP on the other side, he's also a little bit more cautious when he does fight the higher-level strikers. And I know against Kevin Holland, he kind of made Holland just look like a joke. But Ian Gary is not Kevin Holland, and he's going to be way sharper in terms of the stand-up. I think both of these guys have their own advantages. I think that MVP is going to be better at with the leg kicks and overall just maybe landing the more powerful shots, but I think Ian Gary is going to be a lot quicker in most of the exchanges. I also think Ian Gary is going to benefit a lot more in the grappling department, and I actually do see him using the grappling a lot more in this matchup because if he has it, why not use it, and you're fighting a pretty one-dimensional guy in MVP. I don't see why you wouldn't want of course age is also on ian gary's side so that also helps but i think ian gary just does a very good job at distance management i think that he's going to be able to go in and out of the pocket trading with mvp and mvp is going to land on him and get his shots off but i think ian gary because he's going to be a little bit quicker is going to be able to be a little more effective as well the only thing I really question on Ian Gary's side is his focus heading into this fight. In a lot of the buildup, I don't know if this is just him trying to promote the fight or not, but he's saying that he doesn't really care about MVP. He didn't before the fight was announced, and he doesn't after. He doesn't really see MVP as much of a fight for him, to be honest, and more so as a stepping stone. And I really don't think he should be looking at this fight like this, because MVP is not a stepping stone. The guy is a very dangerous man, and you're not exactly the guy that should be overlooking a guy like MVP. You're acting like you're some established fighter in the UFC who has amazing names on his resume when he really doesn't. His resume is probably not even better than MVP's. So he should calm down a bit, humble himself, and realize that the fight in front of him is actually pretty damn difficult. And I think MVP's seeing and hearing a lot of this talk about him, and he's not liking it at all. I'm kind of sensing his tone with Ian Gary is not going to be great. I don't think he likes him very much, and I think that he is going to have a very good chance at winning this fight. Like, this is absolutely Ian's toughest test yet, there's no doubt about it. And I think the big question is going to end up being is if MVP can land on Ian Gary more than Gary can land on him. Because that's how I see this fight going. I don't know if somebody's going to land a knockout shot. I think that it's going to be whoever's more effective in the striking will end up winning the fight. Whoever lands more shots and does more damage. And honestly, I could see that being MVP, but my gut is really telling me that it's probably going to be Ian Gary. But that's if Ian's 100% focused like I was saying before. He can't really be thinking about other fights right now. He was trying to get the Colby Covington fight for months and that didn't happen and they ended up booking this MVP fight. Gary also said the only reason he took this fight was so he could fight on the same card as Conor McGregor. Of course, McGregor ain't fighting on the card anymore, so I'm sure he's not too happy about that. And honestly, it kind of sucked to end up losing your zero on a guy who you didn't really think much of and a fight you didn't really want in the first place. So that would be pretty funny. And if that does happen, then man, Ian Gary is going through a real tough time. But I have to make an official prediction for this fight and I will. So my official pick is going to be Ian Gary to win by decision. I just think the speed is going to be a little too much for MVP. I think that if he does mix in the grappling, which I do think he will, I think it'll also help him steal around. I think Ian Gary is going to win this fight. I honestly hope I'm wrong because I really love MVP. I would love to see him win this. Potentially, if he wins this fight, he could go on, have one more, and potentially see himself fighting for a title. So, I think it goes both ways for both guys. A win here puts them in a title eliminator fight, and they could be fighting for a belt soon. 
But yeah, I'm going to go with Ian Gary. I think the speed is going to be a massive advantage in this fight. And I think that's what's going to win him the fight. So yeah, Ian Gary via decision is my official prediction. There you guys have it though. Those are my thoughts on this amazing matchup at UFC 303. This is going to be amazing. I mean, we have two high level strikers. Sometimes it doesn't always play out the way we want, but I think this time we're going to be in for a bit of a treat. Thank you all for watching and let me know who you guys think is winning down below. Do you have MVP? Do you have Ian Gary? Let me know what you think. I want to hear what you have to say. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.